Hi guys, welcome back to VLG. Today I am doing a collaboration, and of course, you know, I love to do tablescapes. So after my intro, we will get started. Welcome to Viology. Welcome back to Viology, and thank you to the hostess is of this collaboration. And I was gonna do a DIY, but you know guys, I absolutely love doing tablescapes. So usually I take my tablescapes a little bit different, so this time I'm gonna do it totally different from you. I am going to take you my step by step of how I do my tablescapes because you only always see the finished product. So this video may be a little bit lengthy, well, a little bit longer, but it's because I'm going to take you total step by step of how I create my tablescapes and how I switch things out before I send it out to you all. So guys, stay tuned. Guys, as you see, here I am trying to figure out what I want to put together. When I get ready to do a tablescape, I never know what I'm going to put together. I just go different places in my house and I just start picking up different things. But here, what are you looking at? I'm trying to debate, do I want to use one of my Dollar Tree chargers that I recently purchased or do I want to use my charger that I purchased from JCPenney some years ago? So... It was just like a toss up. Then I was not sure if I wanted to pull one of the greens out of the jury box or I wanted to do a bowl off white print. Well, I decided that I wanted to go a little bit subtle. So doing a little bit subtle, I decided to do the green plate with the gold charger. I already knew what my placemat was gonna be. So I had my thought process as far as my charger plate, my flatware, and my glasses. Here, my middle of my table has always been an issue for me. I know when you look at my videos on Tablescape Tuesdays or when I do a collaboration with a Tablescape, it seems like I always have it all together, but guys, it really is a tough job for me to do it. Well, what I do, I pull my colors or a theme first. After I pull my color and my theme, I just start billing with that. So what I did, of course, you know, my bedroom is sage green. So what I decided to do was pull the vases out of my room that I was no longer using. I actually had them stored. So I pulled those and also I decided to use my cake platter. From those two things, I knew exactly what I was going to do to build around my jewelry box. The jewelry box has absolutely about six different colors of green in which I will show you. Now, when it comes down to my napkin rings and napkin holders, I never like seeing the same thing. I like to kind of incorporate something a little bit different. So right now at the at-home store, they have your clip-ons and it's the flowers and so many different things. And they range from the price of $2.99 to about $5.99. And already have your clips, so only use a solid napkin ring and just clip it on the side and it can turn into something totally different. And I absolutely love using the clip-ons so guys with my napkins you wonder why hmm why do you have two napkins well if you have gone to a five-star restaurant one thing that you definitely see you have a napkin on your table then they give you an additional napkin or sometimes they are already placed on the plate such as how i have it it's actually full sometimes sit on your plate and one under your plate the reason being your plate your napkin that sits up under your plate is for your lap 
Your second napkin is for to do your mouth, your hands. Some restaurants only give you one and sometimes you might have to ask for an additional. But this is the main reason why you go to some upscale restaurants and you see two, you do see two napkins. It's for one for your lap, the other is for your hands. As you touch in different things, you don't always have to reach for your lap. Or another reason why you may have two napkins, one of them is for your lap, and some gentlemen also do it, they tuck it right up under their neck. So guys, that's another reason why you can go to a restaurant and see two napkins. Because I'm not a traditional girl whatsoever, this tablescape, hmm, could it stay in my living room? I'm sorry, in my dining room? It could possibly stay there, but I do have a different tablescape that I am going to be doing for the fall. But guys, when you have one item that may have multiple colors in it, you can pick it up so much but you have to be careful of how busy the print is and what you put onto it because you can have something that is very overpowering of too much print. So with mine, I decided to do solids because my jewelry box was very busy. So I want to do everything else in a solid. And my table runner, that is a table runner that I made. My table runner cost me Guess what guys, $3.95 and that include six napkins. Here I'm only featuring four, but I do have six. Also guys, in the jewelry box, you have the emerald green and also the hunter green. They are similar colors, but it's one of them that is tad off because it has a little bit more metallic in it if you will. So therefore, you will see my pumpkins here and they are totally emerald green. But my napkin here, guess what guys? It is hunter green. But because of this box, you can bring in that additional color. Because of my plates here, that is more of a sagey color. Well, look at the box. So I have a total. Guess how many different color greens here? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six different colors of green, but they all ties in with this one jewelry box. So therefore, guys, you have what you call a solid tablescape, and it comes up absolutely beautiful. So guys, I think I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to give you another scene at the end of this of showing you a good what this tablescape looked like. And guys, can you believe it or not? Can I give you, this is like a budget friendly, very high end. How can you make a tablescape and do it on a friendly budget? Can you believe everything on this table will cost you under $100? Yes, guys. 
$100 for a very formal tablescape that include so guys the stores that i purchased the items from dollar tree at home store you know that's my store i do have some at home on my table um ross department store jc Penney's, goodwill of course um walmart and the christmas tree so guys everything on my table was i consider a very friendly budget because 100 dollars for a complete tablescape and also i have these plates i also have a setting of six but i like to keep my outsides open because it doesn't look as busy um but if i would have put those plates on the outside with the pieces it would have still been on a hundred dollars because of course you know you buy things in sets um one of the things was an absolute love 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 i went on walmart.com and i found my gold wear um this is what it looks like they're absolutely so pretty they're not really really shiny um it it comes off a little mattish so um i absolutely love them so guys what i'm getting ready to do oh another little tip if you're gonna add wine to your table and this is sparkling apple cider but another little tip if you want to add wine to your table to tablescape the quickest and the cutest thing that you could possibly do is find a wine bottle the aluminum foil the foil that's on them or and your label and sometimes the color of your wine incorporate it with the color of one of the colors throughout your tablescape so with this one i pick gold i do have green bottle and is um the stella rose apple but because that apple was the wrong color i did not incorporate that i do have another bottle that has a fruity and is green but i didn't use that and another reason why because this is a fall tablescape you have your pumpkins so i wanted to bring in a fall drink so guys i'm gonna end the like subscribe thumbs up turn on your notification bell because you know you never know when your girl's gonna upload another video and you know my ending guys hate to do it but